and hello. Good afternoon. <laughs> well, <And> welcome. welcome. <laughs> <laughs> a movie just popped in my head. Went, welcome. What is that from? What can it's, I say except you're welcome? welcome. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. <laughs> anyway, we're good. That's Take how we two. Kick this off. <laughs> like none of that happened we actually know that it takes a minute for everybody to yeah. come in but we know that a lot of you are watching this back as a replay so we'll go ahead and just jump in but um, I'm Becky this is Carrie and everything that we do here at Becky Higgins is um, is all tying back to cultivating a good life and recording it um, all of those things matter to us all of those things are important and today the topic that we're gonna be addressing back up yo is really important because it's a real struggle. It is. Yeah, we're gonna talk about. Yeah. We're gonna talk about why that's a struggle that we feel very closely and personally. But I want to first w welcome um, all of you who have never watched one of our live broadcasts before. Welcome. Like we are so excited that you're here. So many of you have been following for a long time, and we love you and appreciate you so much. And we also recognize that we have a lot of people who are new, yeah. and we're so glad that you're here. So the way this works is. This is a live engagement sort of thing. And so even though most of you are watching this back later and hopefully benefiting from the content and enjoying it, those of you who are here live have an opportunity to chat with us. Ask us questions. Yeah. Tell us how pretty we are. Yeah. yeah. Tell us how, how good we smell. <laughs> <laughs> so the way that we have it organized is that we have Molly sitting right here and she's watching. I would turn the camera and point her out if I could, I know, but then I know, it would jack all this pick up. Pick up the and, tripod. Yeah. Molly, pop your face Just, in. There she is. There she hey, is. Molly. <laughs> so Molly got the memo about pink today, obviously. Uh, oh, I have pink. Just so you know. Oh, all these little diamonds. Those are pink, too. Um, and so are my shoes. Where's your shirt from? Shoes. People oh, ask. this actually came in my last stitch fix. Cool. Ooh, right yeah. before. I left town last week. Awesome. And I oh, don't know. Me. I've had this for so long. Is This This is not Old Navy, but I have a sweater that's similar from You can look at the tag. This is... Cable and gauge, <laughs> whatever that's from. I've had it for ages. Yeah. It's one of those things I keep wondering if I should get rid of it. But I every time I wear it, I'm like, this is nice. And to it's have. kind of a, it's a classic kind of yeah. staple. An animal print, always good. It's a neutral color. It works because really you could pair that with any color. You really could. could. But we're not here to talk about clothes. We, we do like usually to. get asked about we wearing. We do so like to talk about clothes. stitch fix, and we we do love yeah. stitch fix yeah. around here. Anyway, so um, what were we talking about? Back up, yo. Back up, yo. Oh, so what I was going to say, though, we're I brought up Molly. We are, you know, <laughs> tangents are what we do around here. Okay. Always a good thing to do. But Molly's role in this is that she really is watching your comments and questions. So as they come up, even though we can't see them, she will throw pins. She will totally let us know when there's something that you're sharing or asking that's relevant to what we're talking about, and that is how you get to be engaged mm -hmm. in this while we're going. Right. So shall we? Shall we do this? We shall. Okay, Carrie. Yes. What happened? Okay. <laughs> so. It's not a laughing matter. It's I'm not a laughing not, matter. It really isn't. Like, but. but a lot of people are going to relate to what she's going to yep. share, and if you can't relate, you, you, you will at some point. You will at some point. That's yes, exactly it. It's kind of the scary part yep. about, anyway. Okay, right. so here's the deal. I have been in the digital scrapbooking, designing, creative world for a long time. Probably nine or ten years at this point. Anywhere from just digital scrapbooking, online education, I designed products for a while. So I'm a very digitally minded person. And over and the years... technologically, so smart. She really is. I'm I just, consider myself you, fairly tech savvy, and I do have friends that will tell me that I'm pretty smart when it comes to tech. Yeah, you are. So, she is. Not the smartest. I'm no Kevin Allgaier, but I consider myself pretty handy. I have replaced multiple hard drives in laptop computers, and even in this whole case, I actually took apart my external hard drive to put it into a dock to try and recover data. We'll come back to that later. Okay, geeky in the yeah. coolest way, right? Like, I, I would never even think to do that. Right. I would call Kevin crying. I would ask my husband probably. I would mm -hmm. ask David if he m may know. I'd even ask Grace, but yeah, Ra right. uh, but Carrie, right. yeah. Anyway, yeah. keep going. So the point is, I'm pretty tech savvy, and over the years that I've been working in the industry and just a creative and digital scrapbooker, 
I can't tell you the number of times that I have had friends post on social media or send an email or in some type of form that says, lost my hard drive today. This is your reminder to back up. And usually tears streaming. I had to pay $1,200 to recover everything. I mean, time if you relate, by the yes. way, by the way, like Raise, as, yes. as she tells her story. And as you know, are you, are you mm -hmm. right now, like, has this happened to you? Yeah. She's going to keep going, yeah. but like, we know a lot of people that it's happened to. So we'd like to hear. And reality is what I've learned over the years is hard drives are not meant to last forever. They won't. I mean, as much as we like mm -hmm. to think they will, whether it's an external hard drive, whether it is an internal hard drive on your computer, the likelihood of a hard drive crashing is fairly significant. So. Expected. It, I. Yes. It's not just significant, yes. but you should I've expect that at some point your yes. hard drive will fail. Yep. So if it hasn't happened to you, now it will at some point happen to you. You looking at me yeah. right now, you, <laughs> it will happen because guess what? You're scaring people. It happened to me. <laughs> Melissa says it's never happened to her, but it gives her hives just uh, thinking about I, it. Okay, and that's the thing. If, if it hasn't happened to you, do you feel what Melissa's feeling and do you feel hives? Yes. Because it's enough to make one panic. Now, we're not just talking about a bunch of digital files. We're talking about your pictures, mm -hmm. your photographs. And by the way, before we go further, yes. we're not selling anything today. No. That is not what this is about. We're not promoting and, anything. And we are not experts. Up. And we're not experts. No, we're so not. I do, I do want to give that disclaimer. I am not an expert. I'm here to share a personal story with you because I'm sure many of you will relate or you will in the next month or three months, or two years. Um, but in that same breath, we're not experts. We don't want. We don't even want to pretend like we're experts on that part of it. But because what we do around here is helping people to preserve preserve their memories, the, the act of preservation, no matter what form, including digital, is something we care deeply mm -hmm. about. So we've been learning more about it. We're having personal experiences with it. And so that's the point of this, yep. is we want to share with you not only what's happened to us, um, but what we're doing, what's working, what we're learning about, mm -hmm. and what seems to make sense. And that's where you can come in too. Please chime in if you have systems that are working, um, processes that make sense for you. So Carrie, what happened? Okay, so all this experience, I have multiple friends who've lost hard drives, and yet at the same time, every time I would see one of those posts, I had that same, like, it gives me hives, it makes me want to throw up to think about losing it but I wasn't doing anything about it. Yes, I had my pictures, I kept them all. Now I've been digital probably since about 2001 is really when That's the, the digital transition yeah. happened for me. That was my second baby was born that year. My oldest, I've got all regular photos, but that's really when our digital life, our digital footprint started with pictures specifically. Um, and so I didn't really have like a method Except to, I had external hard drives that I put them on. At one point, I went ahead and decided I need to put them on CD-ROM, all that kind of stuff. But it was probably about four weeks ago-ish in the last month. You don't month. have this like, marked no. in your calendar I, as an anniversary that you're going to celebrate no, I know. every year? Um, I sat down at my computer. And at this point in my life, I have everything. I take all my photos at this point. You're with, giving me high. This sorry. Like, this I know. Just remember, you at this, I know. At this point, I take all my pictures with my iPhone. Um, and so all of those automatically go to iCloud. They just back up. I've got my photo stream and all that. So everything goes to iCloud. So they are on my computer when I open my photos app. And they're available through iCloud. Um, but And then I had an external hard drive that was uh, connected to my computer that I would store all my pictures on. Because I have so many of them. All of them like back. To 2001? So, yes. Okay. Yes. And that was connected to um, my computer. Um, and I sat down at the computer one day. And my little hard drive icon was not showing up on my desktop. And I was like, huh, that's weird. And we had just moved our computer to a new spot in the house. So I'm like, well, maybe when I reconnected it, it just didn't connect, right? Whatever. So I unplugged it. And I plugged it back in. And it still didn't show anything. And so I unplugged it from the wall. Like, I'm trying all these things, and I'm like, something's not right here. And I freaked out. I panicked. I'm like, and my hard drive's dead, and all my pictures are on it. So I'm like, I've got There's so not much. an emoji no, for No, there is not an emoji for that. It is bigger than the poo emoji, for <laughs> real. <laughs> because that's exactly what it makes you feel like when you realize... 
It makes you just it sick. Sick yeah. to your stomach. Yeah. You can feel it for me, people, because yeah. guess what? I just went through it, and all of a sudden, I thought to myself, okay, all the stuff that I've been taking with my iPhone the last couple of years, like, I'm good. I'm down with that because it's there, but I'm like, what about my second daughter's baby pictures? Mm -hmm. Where are those? Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. they're on that hard drive right there that won't pull up on my desktop. And that's the only place that you know that they exist. Exactly. So then what? So I panicked. Yeah. And then I dialogued with my friend, Lindsay Ross. If you're not following Lindsay Ross on social media or reading her blog, she shares a ton of amazing content. Lindsay with an A. Ross blog, lindsayrossblog.com. She shares a ton of tips on photography. She shares about Project Life. She shares about just life in general. Really great things. She's awesome. She's awesome. Lindsay, if you're watching, we love you. Love you. Um, but she's also shared several things about backing up. She, she talks a lot about backing mm -hmm. up because Lindsay, by experience, has lost many hard drives. And being a professional photographer and a documenter, yeah. she has a lot of good systems in place for recovery. And she's also taken it upon herself to really research this so yes. deeply, more than either yes. of us have, to really understand more so that she could not only get her own stuff figured out, but mm -hmm. help others. So yeah. really, you could learn more through going to her blog, like yeah. Carrie said, and just check out more. She's awesome. Yeah. So as I was kind of texting back and forth with Lindsay, and she's you know asking me questions and all that kind of stuff, she asked me one question that really hit home. And wait for it. When you hear this question, think about it. Take it internally. Take it in. And this is what she said to me because obviously, I've, I mean, I'm I'm in this. I'm in the industry. I've been in it for a long time. And the question that she asked me was, so I just have. I'm curious. Why? Haven't you backed up? Why aren't you backed up? Because at this point, remind you, remember, everything's on my external hard drive except for the stuff that's more recent that is in iCloud, that's backing up to iCloud. And she said, so why why haven't you backed up? She's probably also asking because she knows you. Uh -huh. She's probably floored like I was. Like, I and, for sure you had this all. And not only that, as a person who wants to understand the backup process and what goes through people's minds mm -hmm. and why they do or why they don't or what systems work for people. I think it was a curiosity of like, as I'm continuing to gather mm -hmm. research to help people back up, why is it that someone like you, mm -hmm. who's been in the industry, who loves pictures, who is a scrapbook and a documenter, who knows better, who knows better. And that's exactly what I said. I'm like, I know better. I know better. And, and I've Lindsay known better for years. That you know better. Yeah. And I know that you know better. Mm -hmm. And I know at one point before mm -hmm. I got my act together that I know better. Mm -hmm. Like, so please don't feel guilty no matter where no. you are. Because if it can happen to Carrie, who is really an expert in this space, is she just, it just, okay, so yeah. why? So okay. why? So why weren't you? I can tell you why. Because so I'm so mad at you right now. I know. I was so mad at myself. You can imagine. So <laughs> <laughs> I think Wendy's like, giving uh, us some sign language. What's that sign again? It's it's more it's, it's more head side. tilted. Tacos have arrived. That's Tacos what she's saying. Happy Taco Tuesday. Yes. And happy Pancake Day. And National Cereal Day. But whatever. You're welcome. <laughs> you can eat pretty much anything you want today. Right. Breakfast foods or tacos, and you're good. Okay. So why? Okay. Okay. Why were you not okay. backing up? I'm so mad right now. This is why. Okay. Because in my mind, I said I need to get my pictures organized, and once they're organized, I'm going to get everything backed up. Makes sense. But when you're looking at a photo library of somewhere between 60 and 80,000 pictures, it's a whole lot of time to organize. And so, you know, I could sit down for 15 minutes and I'd go through, because to me, organizing was, I was going to go in and I was going to delete blurry pictures. I was oh, going to delete multiple oh, pictures. So if I, you know, if I sat down at my child's game and I took 10 pictures all at once, I don't need to keep all 10 of them. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to delete the ones I don't need. And so because... I was so hung up on the idea that I wanted to organize and then back up. Mm -hmm. I never backed up because mm -hmm. I never had the time to organize. There are people who relate to Are that. you with me? I How many of you it. are waiting to back up it. until you get organized? Because that's, that's the kind of mentality that I have. Like, yeah. I don't do certain things because I first feel like such and such has to be organized before I can do that thing. So I, I relate yeah. to that. I understand that yes. mentality. And so when Lindsay asked me that question, well, why haven't you backed up? I'm like, well, because I wanted to organize my pictures first. And then I think to myself, 
But who cares if they're organized? As long as they're backed up, even if they're not organized, I can still get them back. So what happened? So what happened? So what happened? I wish there was like the super rose colored story, but I'll show you what happened. Oh boy. <laughs> really quickly, can I show you yes. what someone said? Yes. She oh said, my. don't be too sad or mad because um, this is helping all of the rest of us. It's a great Well, and you know what? And what's so interesting is we were dialoguing. <laughs> I'm like, kumbaya, people. We were dialoguing. Becky and I had a text conversation that day. It was a day that I normally work from home. I work from home on Wednesdays. And it was that morning, actually, that I realized it when I sat down to work at the computer. And I was like, um, wait a second. Something's missing here. Mm -hmm. And my productive work day turned into an absolute tailspin. I uh, wasn't paying for any of this. No, no. <laughs> but it was, I've got to find my, I've got to find my pictures. They've got to be somewhere in the house. I've got to, you know, all this kind of stuff. And as I'm texting Becky later, you know, she basically made that same comment of like, I think so often experiences happen to us so that other people can gain from our experiences. And that's why we felt like right at that time, yes. like we have to share this yep. somehow, someday, some whatever. And so here. I wanted a little bit of time so that I could process and figure out, okay, so what's my game plan moving forward? Because clearly I need to be backed up. And I am at this point, but let me tell you how it all started. Visual aids. I brought visual. I have not seen these. I don't know what's going on here. Okay. What is this? This is an external hard drive. Okay. You guys have something that looks like this? Mm -hmm. Okay. That has pictures and digital files. Great. What's this? Here's another external hard drive. That's pretty. Also has pictures and stuff. Oh, mm -hmm. here's another external hard Can you drive. See these? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Totally perfect. Okay. So okay. here's another one. Got it. And then this. Is this what you got for Christmas every year for five years? No, no. It was just like, oh, my hard drive's full. I guess I'll just buy a new one, right? This is the actual hard drive that failed because it was an external hard drive. I took it apart so that I could try and recover the data off okay. of it. Remember the whole techie thing? Like, I consider myself. Of taking a hard drive apart. Like, Please I notice the note. Dead drive with pictures. So that I won't forget what hard drive this is. Because, you know, I'll Give probably. Give to me. We've got visuals I here. I know. Oh, sorry. We're Look visuals here. Yeah. Okay. Look at this. And then. Then what? What about this? What is that? This is a book. Full. This, to me, oh. when I found this literally buried in my office somewhere. I wanted to sing Hallelujah, Praise the Lord right here because this like right organized. here is... But they're there. Oh, the and look at this. This, this is oh like gosh. Baby Ashton, Christmas 2003, office grand opening. This is me back in the day knowing that one day I would probably lose my hard drive wow. putting all of my pictures onto CDs and labeling them wow. so that I would know what was on those CDs. Before and I'm telling you what, wow. this right here is a good majority of what was on my hard drive that died. Oh my gosh. You so while I was not actively backing up what was on that hard drive, at one point in my life, I had backed up old school to my CD. So finding these was like a oh. treasured gold mine. Well, so, literally an answer yes. to a prayer, I'm sure. Because uh, if you've been in this situation, uh, yeah. and that's devastating. And then, of course, so. I also had... Okay. Memory cards <laughs> yeah. from random, oh the, the, they random cameras. Off. They weren't cleared oh, off? Like they I, was, them. Okay. I was going to find anything that I could, and I had yeah. a card reader so I could plug okay. those in. So, here we go. Mm -hmm. So, I hope Spreading. you appreciate the visuals. I do, actually. And, and I actually like, think there was probably maybe one or two other hard drives in my house. Okay. But the point is, Whoa. I was randomly, 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 randomly backing up. At different times and different stages. Does your backup look like Does this? Does your backup look like this? I'm wondering. So for me, the first thing that I realized what my hang-up was, that they weren't organized, clearly they were not organized, was the first thing I need to do for me was to get everything that I had in one spot. And so that was, I plugged in this hard drive and I transferred all of my fo folders. Any pictures that I could find on anything here. Yep went into one spot and I started with Dropbox. So I set up a folder in Dropbox, sorry, go ahead. Just in case you don't know what Dropbox is, just go to dropbox.com and you'll just learn right there. Yep, and that's D-R-O-P-B-O-X, dropbox.com. And it's cloud storage, but yep. like for real, we as a company cannot function without mm -hmm. it. I personally at home, David and I, we don't know how to function without it. It is awesome sauce, right. so, right. and we trust Dropbox. Yep. We also have a blog post all about how to use yes. Dropbox. Yes. Yes. In fact, go if you go to the blog at BeckyHiggins.com, you can do a search there in the sidebar, sidebar, like Molly's saying, for Dropbox. 
Um, there's also, well, we'll talk about some of the other options okay. in a minute. Yeah. Yeah. So this, I'm just now giving you kind of a little bit of my game plan and how I recovered from the devastation. So the first thing I did was gather. I gathered every bit of anything I could find in my house that might have some sort of digital file on it. I was specifically most desperately looking for pictures, yep. obviously. Yep. So I, like I said, I plugged in every hard drive. I plugged in every memory card. I, I went through my CDs and, and so I gathered and then I put everything that I could find in one spot. And for me, that was Dropbox. So I created a folder in Dropbox and I, at this point, could have cared less about how well it was organized. Yep. I put everything in that folder that I could and just put it there. I didn't care if it was in Change a subfolder. I didn't care yep. if it was by date. I didn't care. I just wanted it there in Dropbox. I'm going to talk about that in a minute as well with regards to video. Yeah. That's coming. Okay. Yep. So. I smell tacos. We can't make this a full two hours long. I'm like, we should. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I got it all into Dropbox. Then I need, yes. Why do you I see use Molly. Dropbox instead of the Apple Cloud storage system? I use both. Okay. Oh, so. Keep going. Are you going to yep. keep? Yeah. Yep. Keep going. Yep. Okay. And so. Hold on. Really quick. There's not one end all, be Thank all you. solution. Thank you. For, it's a blanket statement or a solution for everybody. So please remember that no matter what you take away from this, just know that Dropbox and this situation works for Carrie. Mm -hmm. I'm going to explain my system as yep. well. There's going to be somebody else who chimes in. They're going to talk about Amazon. Someone's going to talk about Google Photos. Someone's going to talk about cloud. Someone's going to talk. So that's why we're yep. having the discussion. Yep. We're going to share what works for us. We want you to do the same. Yep. So this is the system that I'm using at this point. It doesn't mean that it won't expand or change, but for now, I feel fairly secure in where I'm at. So um, my cute little friend Tori, in case Tori's watching. Hi, Tori. When I posted on social media about the devastation of my hard drive loss, again, Tori is my friend that has literally been in this digital with me since the beginning. And she said to me, Carrie, yeah. <laughs> you know better. She mm -hmm. said, there's a three, two, one rule, and that's you need to have three backups Mm. In two different places, one of which is off-site somewhere. Yep. Meaning not like physically in your home. So an external yep. hard drive or hard drive on com your computer are physically inside your home. You need to have some sort of a backup elsewhere, which a lot of cloud storage obviously is not in your home and there are ways to recover it. So, so three backups, two different places, one of which is outside of your home. Yep. That was Tori's reminder rule for me. And I'm like, I know, I know better. Remember? Yeah. Okay. So I've gathered everything. I've gotten everything into Dropbox. Then I needed to decide where else I was going to actually back up. So one, I bought a new external hard drive. Why? Because it's what? a, it's another physical backup. It yeah. is also portable. That so will if fail. I fail. Won't, won't hard drives fail though? It will, but I'm backed up other places. Okay. So, so it's just a it's just point of insurance. Exactly. Okay. So because any one talk... thing could fail at any one okay. time. Okay. So All right. because I could my hard drive on my computer could fail, but my external hard drive might not fail. The okay. fastest, easiest recovery is gonna come from an external hard drive that's right there at my house. Okay. Rather than trying to get it from a cloud or pull like that. So that I always like to have an external drive there at my house that also or if a fire happened, I could unplug it. I could run it and take it with me. Whereas mm -hmm. I might not be able to take my whole computer with me. Right. But Dropbox, just so people understand, right. it's cloud storage. So if my whole house burned to right. crisp, that doesn't yeah. affect my photos. Right. That's in the store. That's in the magical storage place. And see, and this is a right. quirk where I'm doing what works for me. Right. Yeah. So no, so other people is, would be like, I don't want, exactly. Like yeah. I don't want an external hard drive, but yeah. Okay. So I bought it backed up to Dropbox. I bought a new external drive and I copied everything from Dropbox on my external drive. Then what I did was I enlisted the help of Backblaze. Now Backblaze is an offsite, it's an online backup. The thing that I really like about Backblaze, and again, it's a company that I've heard of forever. We actually use Backblaze at my husband's office to back up all of our um, all of our records. From I've never his heard of this practice. in my life. Have you not? Mm -mm. Oh, Does yeah. Lindsay talk about it? Anyway, I, I Lindsay didn't know. uses Backblaze. Okay. There's all Carbonite is another Carbonite one that's an online um, okay. storage mm -hmm. solution, Love whatever. It. But Backblaze, one of the reasons that I love Backblaze in having done some research on different online backups mm -hmm. is because Backblaze will also back up external drives that are connected to your computer. Oh, okay. So it not only will back up my entire system, mm -hmm. it will also back up any external drives that are connected to my computer. Mm -hmm. And it does everything in the background. So anytime a file is changed or added, 
it adds it, it will upload it to their, um, okay. to their cloud, to that backup. So cool. I've got a Backblaze backup now that is backing up my entire computer system and my external drive. I've got everything in Dropbox. I've got it on my external hard drive and I'm also putting it all in iCloud. Now, one of the ways that I'm using iCloud or the Photos app specifically, that's what I'm using to help me organize. Because okay. what I can do is pull in a bunch of folders and the Photos app um, on a Mac has a really amazing feature called Smart Albums. Mm -hmm. So I can actually set up Smart Albums to sort all of my photos. I like to sort by year and then by month. Mm -hmm. So when I, in my perfect organizational dream that I was waiting to get to before I backed up my pictures, I would have a year for 2001, 2002, 2003, and then inside each of those, January, February, March, April, May. Mm -hmm. I can do that super easily in the Photos app. So I won't actually store all of my pictures in the Photos app or in iCloud because I do have them multiple other places, but I'm really using that to organize. So I'll pull in a batch of pictures, I'll organize those, and then I will send them back out to Dropbox in the organized fashion and replace with whatever, you know, is okay. disorganized. So Okay, so is that your current system? Yes. So that's the, yes. And how well are you sleeping at night? I'm sleeping really well. Did I'll sleep you, really well tonight. Did you recover everything? Like, do you think you got pretty much I, all of it? So at this point, I would guess I probably have recovered at least 85 to 90% okay. of what was on that drive. The only way that I will ever know for sure is to <clears> actually <throat> find a way to access this drive, um, which I could probably send out to like a data recovery type of a person. Like I said, I've obviously done what I feel like I can by taking apart the drive and trying to trying to read it with a with a doc. Um, but data recovery can be really expensive. Some of you know this. Yes. And because I feel like I do have a majority of what was on that drive, I don't know that I'm ready to explore spending a fortune to find out that there might be a couple hundred pictures that I didn't recover. Sure. Yeah. So if down the road I'm looking and I'm like, oh my gosh, what about pictures from yeah, some XYZ? Thing. Yeah. That's why I still have this drive here. I still have it marked as one that I could take to look at recovery. But for now, I feel pretty good about where I'm at with my pictures just based oh. on what I was able to pull from other drives. A very far cry from your initial oh, gosh. shock of uh, devastating loss. And you, can we just talk for just a moment about why it feels like such a loss? It's not just digital files. And, and this is something mm -hmm. I don't even feel like I need to explain. I think we all just connect to this idea that these are physical objects whatever, but they hold something that is not only near and dear and precious to us because they they hold our memories, like literally those, the visual reminders of the experiences that we've had, but everything that they represent. Mm -hmm. And if you, you know, I know that means different things to different people, but I am one of those people who has a pretty mediocre memory. I'm not, oh. gonna, I don't think I have the worst memory, but I, I don't remember mm -hmm. a lot of stuff, but if there's a picture associated totally. with it, even if I took the picture and I saw it in my camera roll and I never saw it again, there's something psychological and magical that happens to the idea of that picture existing mm -hmm. that at some point stuck in my brain and I that's how I remember a lot of things. There's, I think really. there's emotion. There's emotion mm -hmm. tied to pictures. I can see a picture and I can feel what I felt mm -hmm. when I took that picture. And so the thought of losing that, because I'm the same as you, like my, my, my family will attest, my brain is not getting any sharper yeah, at all. I know. And the longer I live, the more <laughs> things that I have to try and remember. Yeah. And so the less things in general I want to remember. So pictures for me are, yes, they are what actually remind me of things that I've done. I'm like, oh, that's right. We did go there or it's whatever. It's so much and more than just... But I the emotion is, yes, the emotion is connected to it. And I think that's why when you feel that loss of your pictures, you do feel that, like that devastation oh. because it really does feel like a, yeah. a sock to the gut because it, all of a sudden you're like, what if, I mean, or you have your child that's like, what do you mean you don't have any baby pictures of me? Oh, okay, let's course. turn now okay. to some of what you guys are yes. sharing. You're asking and commenting and only Molly knows what that is. Yes. So what is that? Someone asked, <clears throat> does using the mobile Dropbox, does it... Um, take the spa any space away from your phone, or is it? Are you using your iPhone space when you're using Dropbox? You know that. I don't think that it does, because I would not have. There is no way that I would have enough, even oh, with no the way. largest yeah. iPhone out there, that would, I would have enough to store all of the pictures that I have in Dropbox. There's no way. I. I it I'll does add now. To that. I was gonna say yeah. now it does 
if you use Dropbox on your computer. So if yes. you have like a terabyte worth of pictures in Dropbox and you are syncing that Dropbox folder to your computer, that will take hard drive space on your computer. I literally just unsynced a whole bunch yes. of things last night because not I have plenty of space here on my work computer, mm -hmm. but my my, lap, my laptop, yeah. my notebook is so little. It's a great MacBook, um, but it's so small that it doesn't have as much storage, yes. which I'm fine with, but I had to unsync a bunch yes. of things so that I could have more of my, for example, videos collection, which is a lot of and space. And that's one of the so. things that actually is great about Dropbox, and this yes. is not like a you know commercial for Dropbox, but one of the things I love about it is we have multiple computers in our homes. I've got a computer that I use for work. And so I only sync the folders that I want to readily be able to access on any given computer. So like all of my photos, I only sync that folder to one of the computers in our house. Mm -hmm. um, I don't sync it to my work computer. And I have a ton of work stuff that I never even access at home on my personal computer. So I don't sync any of that. However, if Carrie's at work, and none of that is synced, but she needs to just quickly put a picture mm -hmm. on a personal photo or something like that. She just goes to dropbox.com into her account, pulls yep. it out, no big yep. deal. So and it's very much accessible. Mm -hmm. um, and the same with the Dropbox app yes. on your phone. And I wanted to answer that question, which is a great question in one other way. I, like Carrie said, there's no way that my phone could even handle the amount of storage of you know the, these file mm -hmm. sizes and stuff like that. But I can access everything on my Dropbox mm -hmm. now. So when I go into my Dropbox app, by the way, and I put my finger on a file or a picture or something that I need, I'm only looking at it as like a little thumbnail, right. basically. Um, I can see it full size in my phone, but it's not its not really the full size image. But if I need that, no big deal. Save, save it to my camera yeah. roll. I have my full size image to use it however. Mm -hmm. So again, this is not a Dropbox commercial. We didn't even mean to go into so much. We're not affiliated with them, but we we love Dropbox mm -hmm. and we trust mm -hmm. what they can do to save our stuff. So. Yeah, and like we said in the beginning, we're not experts. I'm sharing what I'm doing right now. There are a ton of other available options. I know um, you were talking about Steph Clay. She mm -hmm. teaches a class all about Google Photos, and I know a lot of people use and love Google Photos. She offers a free 30-minute class at modernphotosolutions.com it's really good that you can sign up to learn all about using Google Photos how to back up your photos that way I am personally not using Google Photos right now that doesn't mean I won't add that in the future because right now the biggest thing for me was to make sure I was getting backed up so I backed up to the places that I was familiar and comfortable with um, One rather note. than learning a whole new system. Sorry, but, but just I uh, speaking of Google Photos, because I don't personally use it yet either, and I say yet because I really am considering mm -hmm. that as another backup right, as another place, backup. not my primary one. Um, but the first time I heard about Google Photos was actually through Race mm -hmm. here in our office. Race, you're welcome to make an appearance if you want to. Um, but Race actually brought up Google Photos, and he loves it. He loves all things Google, but he loves Google Photos. And so we actually had him write a too. blog post. Yep. Race, you can make an appearance if you want to, like dance moves. So or there he is. Moon walk. Oh, sorry. He's oh. just pounding his energy drink back there in the background. <laughs> Maybe not. Take Go it, away. Taking care of business on the lunch hour. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking more like a moon walk, not an energy drink. <laughs> anyway, so... Um, but I, when I learned about that, I was super intrigued. And so if you go to beckyhiggins.com on the blog and do a search for Google Photos, if you're just like, wait, what is that? He, d he did a great job just giving you an overview and you'll understand it better. But like Carrie said, our friend Steph at modernphotosolutions.com mm -hmm. does have that free 30-minute class, which is also really good. Mm -hmm. And it's free. It really does walk you through like what it means, how it works, how to do it. It's mm -hmm. really cool. And Amazon so. now offers free photo storage. And, um, hey, if you so have a Prime, if you have Amazon Prime, you can back up your photos unlimited. Yeah. For So there's a lot of online backup solutions that are free depending on what you're using or what yeah. resolution you're storing at or things like that. So, I mean, there's a lot of people that will say you can never be backed up in too many places. For me, I want to feel like I have at least some control over what that is instead of being like, wait, now what's backed up here and what's I backed agree. up here? And there's a lot of it that can be automated as well. Um, yep. and so that's one of the things I love about Backblaze is it's totally automated. Anything that gets added to my desktop or anything that gets added to my external hard drive, it, it senses that and will automatically back that up for me. Um, so I was going to say the same thing about yes. Carbonite and Black yes. Blaze. It's kind of for those people like me who maybe I just don't have time. Mm -hmm. I feel like I don't have time, so it automatically is right. backing up my computer yes. all the time. And someone just now asked, can you explain the difference between Dropbox and Backblaze? Well, I 
you want to explain it? So, so Dropbox, well, at least for me, this is how I use them. Dropbox is something that I access on a, on a regular everyday basis. Mm -hmm. I store my files there. I store my, store my photos there now, but I can access it easily from my phone. I can access it easily from my computer. Um, but it's, but Dropbox is not backing up your entire system. Whereas, um, cause it's backing up files. That's, it's basically like if you were to go into, um, like my computer on your PC or your finder in, on a Mac, it's how you're organizing your files and accessing those. Whereas uh, Backblaze will actually back up your entire hard drive. So it basically um, connects to your computer and then you can choose what on your computer you want to back up. So for example, on mine, because I sync Dropbox to my computer, it will actually back up the Dropbox files that I have synced to my computer. Yeah. It will back up my hard drive. It will back up my videos. It will back up any part of my hard drive that I tell it to, plus any external hard drives that it's connected to. Plus, you know, so that's where it's a little bit different. Backblaze will actually back up your entire system, whereas Dropbox is backing up and storing your files. Is great. that yeah? Well, that's a great way to explain totally. it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, great question too. And that's why I think that's good. And I also, I, I mean, I also have a a backup. For my overall system, I actually use Time Machine. I have two external hard drives that I rotate back and forth that back hmm. up my, but those don't back up external hard drives. Okay. Which is just, why, yeah, it's just right, which system. is why Backblaze, yeah. yeah. And when I was really, really good about it, I would actually bring one of those to the office with me every week. So I would bring one to the office, plug in my new one, it would, it would back up for that week, oh. and then I would switch them out so that I always had one at the office in case my hard drive ever crashed. I haven't been as good about that. I have a lately, different philosophy. Okay, I'm like, it. you know, I just, if it goes, all right, well, it's less, less stuff to worry about. <laughs> do not. <laughs> I do. I do. Yeah. I, for photos, except for photos. Yeah. Except for photos. Wait, and I, and except I, for photos. Yes. I should probably um, outline what I do. It's actually, okay, yes. it's not, it's not a 30 minute conversation. I'm, it's actually not that far off, but I just wanted to mention that I've really taken on a, an approach of just simplicity. Like I really... I know there's a million options, and sometimes when I know there's a million options, I tune them all out. And so I've learned that if I'm going to do something, that I just need to stick with what's simple mm -hmm. and what's clean and what works for me. And what works for me is Dropbox, and that is my primary place of storage, organization, backup. It's all, that's, that's what I use, and that's where all of my pictures live. Mm -hmm. I can access all of them through my phone and on my computer, and I can sync to whichever computer. I can pull them from online. Like, they're all there. Now... Having said that, and there's some cloud, there's some automatic cloud backing up that's happening. That's right. kind of like my one of my second places. I don't pay any attention right. to it. And that's what it and that's happens. what iCloud is for me because mm -hmm. I take everything with my phone and it automatically goes to iCloud. So yeah. that's kind of my automatic backup. Yes. Yeah. And then I can take from that and put it into Dropbox so yeah. that it's more. Yeah. And I do have, um, I actually, if you go to, again, re referencing a blog post, the blog at BeckyHiggins.com, and if you search for resolutions, um, remember that big blog post I did mm -hmm. at the beginning of the year? So I talk about not only how I kind of document and scrapbook in my life and my family and preserving our memories, but I also talked about something that I do, my rhythm and routine for photo organization. And it's really, it's very simple, but I keep, I don't keep thousands of pictures on my phone. Mm -hmm. I don't keep them in my camera roll. So first of all, I have this thing, this concept called daily delete, and it's something I've stayed true to for a while now. You can read more about that on the blog, but it sounds like, what it sounds like. It is what it sounds like. I delete every day um, pictures from that day. I just declutter regularly. So I'm not hoarding unnecessary, unwanted photos. And the second thing that I do is on a monthly basis, I pull everything from my phone, photos and videos, and they go into Dropbox. And the way that I do that is I plug my phone to my computer and I actually use something that Kevin, my brother, mm -hmm. our, one of our favorite tech experts, um, has told me about and it's called I like the little I amazing so I amazing I would not know about this if he didn't tell me and I never actually hear about it so I don't even mm -hmm. know but it's basically you plug in your phone you open up I amazing and I amazing pulls up everything that is in your phone that's the best layman's way to explain it because I don't understand technologically mm -hmm. what's really happening but that's where I actually pull all of the files all in one batch I throw them into a folder, I do a quick renumber. You know how in instant mm -hmm. you can do a quick yeah. renumber like that, renumbers them all because I do numerical um, organization for my photos and then I pop them into Dropbox and they're also in chronological order. Um, it's worth mentioning, that that's my system, okay, that's it. Um, it's worth mentioning that 
I've been considering Google Photos. I've talked mm -hmm. about that. I've taken steps for your class. I've listened to race. I've heard people's testimonials. I know it's awesome. It's automated. Mm -hmm. I know that you don't have to have anything organized because you can literally search. I can search Molly. I can search Hawaii. I can search fish or lake or like you mm -hmm. tacos. Yeah. Name it. Well, that's Google's specialty is it search. Is. It that's, is. That's why people love it. And it's really it. good. Mm -hmm. And it works. It works. And I know that already. Um, but I, but I just haven't, I haven't actually done that and not because I'm procrastinating backing up. I backed up like I'm, I'm okay. Mm -hmm. Um, and you have a backup of your system too, right? Like your yes. actual, like your computer hard drive. I think so. But you don't know. I don't know because so I rely to, on my you, husband and my need, mother. Yes. So you need to talk to David I will. and Kevin and make sure. Write that down. Ask. My husband. Yes. You need to make sure that you yeah. do have a backup of your system, of system. too. Yes. Because okay. that will also back up your folders if you're syncing your Dropbox to your system. That's great. And that, that would be another yes, backup. that's another place. backup. Okay. So. Because you're not telling me three backups. Three backups, two places. Cloud. No. I t so Dropbox, cloud, and then, the, and, the, and I'm being totally honest, I'm actually thinking about either Google Photos or I have customers. You guys have been mentioning Amazon. Amazon. And yeah. we are Amazon I've heard more Prime, about Amazon. And... And I've been, I've been really in the organizational process of organizing videos. That is really its own topic for another day. Um, but somebody was mentioning that to me. Thank you, whoever that was, the mm -hmm. other day. And even my husband lit up and went, that makes total sense. Yeah, well, we should do that. Well, and David's an Amazon and lover. He's I mean, totally he's an Amazon lover. For sure. That's okay, so that's, okay. all right, Molly. Molly has questions. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Someone asked, what about David's phone? Do you also upload all of his photos to the same Dropbox folder? So or? let me first answer that question with this. Again, another great blog post that Kevin wrote mm -hmm. um, recently, like in the last couple yes. of weeks. And if you, so it's right toward the top of the blog. Molly, maybe you can pull up the exact title of it, but I think... I think if you do a search for sharing, photo sharing, or something like that, mm -hmm. um, but he talks in detail about all of the different options and ideas and ways that you can share photos. So that's part mm -hmm. one of the of the answer. I will answer from a personal place to say I actually don't want all of my husband's photos or my children's photos. I don't actually want all of them. Um, I just want some, and so we have our own little system for that. Mm -hmm. Sharing digital photos. Sharing digital yep. photos. That's what you're searching on the blog. And then Kevin, who's mm -hmm. way more expert than I am on these topics, mm -hmm. explains it already, and you can read it, and it's great yep. and very informative. But um, and for me, my yeah. because I have teenagers, and so they have their own phones and their own pictures, and so we, um, on a fairly regular basis, will pull the pictures off of their phones. They have those in their own Dropbox folders, which are all being backed up as part of our one Dropbox mm -hmm. and two as part of our Backblaze backup as well. That's awesome. So, and for me, it's a slightly different stage of life um, because our oldest is 14, so we don't have like a house full right. of teenagers or anything. And really, like I look at his pictures sometimes, but really, I just once in a while mm -hmm. will pull one, and so literally, it's just an air, a quick airdrop. Um, don't text the photos to each other yes. if you care about the size, right. because if you text photos. It automatically compresses the image mm -hmm. and so it's fine and on your phone it's fine but if you ever wanted to print that larger you're losing quality yeah. so just keep that in mind airdrop is fine mm -hmm. sharing through iCloud photo sharing you have to just mm -hmm. make sure you save it in full res to your phone but or emailing other, emailing, is emailing a good option as well make sure depending. that it's not reduced though right. in the email so just be aware of size if you care about doing more than just mm -hmm. something in social media yeah. or on your phone. And for me with my husband, sorry, just before we move on, for me with my husband, first of all, he does not take hardly any pictures. That's where I meant to go. Yeah. Because he knows that I'm taking the pictures. Mm -hmm. So they he's really a little on dependent us. on me for that. Yeah. But if he ever is taking pictures or like if my phone is charging and I don't have it and I grab his phone to take something, yeah. it's the same thing. I always will just airdrop it right away same. or we'll send it or we have a shared photo stream. So same. anything really that's on his phone that I would want, I have quick and easy access to and then it gets back to the And you do it the right then. Of, yes, that's the other thing. Right it's, it's not like I'm going, oh, I should go back to David yeah. for 2016 yeah. and see. No, I no. got what I wanted when I wanted it. Yeah. And teenagers are good that way too because my girls are always like, take my phone, airdrop themselves pictures and yeah. they're good to go. Uh, and by the way, I also set up a shared um, iCloud folder with just me and Porter, mm -hmm. just me and Claire, yeah. you know, to just, because sometimes I, I take pictures of or for them, mm -hmm. and I've got them for my own personal use, but now they're old enough to actually, like, want to do something with them or see them or whatever, so I just drop them in there sometimes, yeah. which is really cool. Okay. Sorry, tangents. Molly. <laughs> <laughs> Lindsay Ross has been on here. Oh, yay, Lindsay! Lindsay! I was going to say, and Lindsay just did a blog post about backing up your phone. So yes. LindsayRossBlog.com. There's did, lots of great, yes, lots of good tips I'm so for backing she's up. Here. I yeah, know. she's Yay. been 
in and so out. So she's answering questions for yeah. us. Oh, thank you, Thanks, Lindsay. Lindsay. <laughs> One thing she mentioned is that Amazon is not free if you want to upload more than five gigabytes of video. Okay. You have to okay. pay $60 a year for that, but you can do all the photos you want for okay. free. So just good. to know. That's awesome. good to know Thanks, because Lindsay. I didn't know that, and David and I talked literally yesterday about this. Personally, if that feels like a good solution for us, I will absolutely pay $60 mm -hmm. for a year yep. um, worth of or sixty dollars per year to yeah. have all of our videos in another and that's backup how, uh, place and accessible, mm -hmm. and we can play them from you know through Amazon on your TV. Mm -hmm. You know the menu yeah. where you. I yeah. still got to wrap my head around that, but. And I was gonna say yeah. too, in total tangent, but Backblaze also is not a free service. I think it's five dollars a month, or it's discounted if you buy if you pay for a year or two years or three years at a time. So that is a monthly fee, but to me, it's worth every penny knowing that it's backed up there. How often would you suggest backing up? So some of those things that we've talked about are automated, so mm -hmm. that's not even something that you schedule. Um, I already did mention my system, mm -hmm. and I do monthly. I do monthly dumping of photos on my camera roll. I literally get, I've already scrapbooked them because I scrapbook weekly in the Project Life app. I'm on top of that. I have a good system. If you want to learn more, just search resolutions on the blog, and you can know my system. Um, and videos, like everything, I just pull it off mm -hmm. on a monthly basis. That's my system. Yeah. And because all my pictures are being taken on my phone, they are automatically getting backed up to iCloud immediately, and then that is automatically backing up to Backblaze as well. So, mm -hmm. yep. Does the Project Life app pull from Amazon Photos and Google Photos? No, go ahead. So, yes, Amazon no. Photos <laughs> at this point, no. Um, Google Photos will work with Android devices. Um, Google Photos does not talk right now with iOS that's more a Google Photos limitation than it is an iOS or our developer limitation um, but I know a lot of people that use Google Photos that are also using the project like app and I think the way that most of them are doing that is to basically choose a whole batch of images within Google Photos I think Steph was saying that she's done as many as 200 pictures at mm -hmm. one time and then she will save them to her phone from Google Photos <clears throat> use those to scrapbook in the app and then she just deletes them because they're still in Google Photos. She's just saving a copy to her sense. phone. And so that, I think that's what a lot of people do. And a lot of people do that with Dropbox as well. They'll yeah. store all their photos in Dropbox, but instead of pulling from Dropbox through the Project Life app, Which because you people can you can do, but it can be a little bit more cumbersome, yeah. I think, than working directly in the camera roll. So whether they're doing it a week at a time or a month at a time or whatever, however they have that organized, just putting them onto their camera roll or into their photo gallery on their Android device pulling from there and then just deleting them once they're done. That's the Great way a lot question. of people are using those. Yep. Um, do you lose any quality in the photos when you back up to a cloud storage system? I think some of it depends on the storage system that you're using. I know Google Photos has limitations on the number of megabytes that each file can be yeah, um, because I it does, know. it does. I want to say it's 16 megabytes. Again, I'm not using Google Photos personally, I think it's Can 16 I, megabytes, but that's big enough that if you were to recover it, you would be able to print up to, I think, an 8 by 10 without bet, any problem. I bet Lindsay's answering the question yes. right now. But or I do Steph. know that 16. Steph and her Is class, it 16? Uh -huh. she did. Okay. okay, thank you for answering that. I'm, just, I'm like, somebody knows that. But right. Steph, actually, I remembered her free 30-minute mm -hmm. course. The she actually goes into that and yes. talks a little bit more about so it. So I think beyond, no. like, so unless you are, like, a professional photographer who is wanting to print things at 16 by 20 or large, mm -hmm. ginormous canvases, then that probably isn't going to be an issue. But I would look at, before you choose that as your backup system, I would just look at, do they have a maximum file size? Do they have a limitation on how much storage you can have for a certain price point? Um, I would look at those things. But most of them are not going to limit you in the, in the file size, anything that would be damaging if you're going to use it later. Can yep. you um, say the name of the free 30-minute class? Yes, happy to. So it's modernphotosolutions.com. And her, her name is Steph, and she she's and definitely an, an expert. The name of the class, there's a big button there, but I think it's called Photo you, Fabulous. Yes, that's what it is. You can't miss it. No, you can't miss it. If you it's go to the website, you will see it right free there. class. It's 30 minutes for the entire class to work your way through it. Mm -hmm. So it should have tons of great tips on using Google Photos and how you can, I mean. And Steph, by the way, um, we've known Steph for years, both of us, but Steph also has a podcast. So if this, if this kind of stuff, yeah. this kind of like, tech talk a little bit with memory keeping but technology and backing up all that if it interests you more she's done a really mm -hmm. great job i've listened to most of the episodes of her podcast and she's been on yeah the podcast yes I've recently been on the podcast and so. it was a really great conversation mm -hmm. i loved mm -hmm. it but once again that's and modern photo solutions and you can search for that in the in the itunes store under podcasts 
That's the website name. Yeah. That's her Instagram handle, and then that's yeah. the name she of the podcast. Lots of good tips. Yeah, she does. So Steph does a great job helping yeah. people with this kind of stuff. Yep. A few people yes. want to know if your CDs all worked. Did you? Put yes, them in the every place? last one of them. And you still had a disk yes. drive. You okay. Know, like well, you actually, your computer. actually, my my computer does not have a disk drive. Oh, so did you and have so to do I an I actually ordered an external oh, CD gosh. ROM drive. Yeah. So that I could. But like as soon as I found this, I was right on Amazon and I found an external CD ROM sure. drive so that I could get that here and yeah. You were was... all over it. Yeah, this, but really that this was moment of panic sent yeah. you into like because Carrie will sometimes I learned this about her recently. We've known each other for years, but she recently said that one of her weaknesses is probably procrastination. And I was like, For real. I can't even yep. picture that. But can you so not? She, for real? Oh no, now I oh, can't. Yeah. Now I totally can't. <laughs> now, now, yeah. now in this situation. <laughs> Maybe a few other instances, but no, like that, like I procrastinate on stuff. Molly mm -hmm. does race. Like we all yeah. procrastinate on certain things. Well, I think especially when it's a big task and we've yeah. talked about this even yes. in the office, we're like, what's the one big task that you keep putting off because it's, because big. it's big. It just and feels daunting to even get started. Yeah. This is one of those that's yes. not work related, you know, for us, but that's personal that most people can relate to is this gets procrastinated so easily yes. because you don't know where to start or you don't know exactly what to do. And that's why we yep. did this so that yes. we can hopefully help you feel motivated so if to I could, do it. Yeah. So if I could just share anything from any of it, because like I said, the whole reason I put it off was because it wasn't organized. I wanted to organize before I backed it up, but I would say, do yourself a favor, get all of your photos in one place, one place, not like this. If you're like this, just get them all in one place. Mm -hmm. like, them together. These would be like yeah, considered them together. backups. Yep. This, this is point. backed up. This is a backup. These are a backup. This is a backup. But this not backup. the primary place that you keep. But your not photos. all in one spot. So I would say gather everything in one spot and then decide where you want to back up. How many places? How you're going to do it? So I really think just establishing a game plan. Don't make it so complicated that you're like, oh my gosh, I can't keep up with that. Like I'm going to back up every Friday at nine o'clock in the morning. Whether it's a monthly thing, whether it's an automated thing like with Backblaze, um, just decide what's going to work for you, but do it um, today because tomorrow you might wake up and not find your hard drive. Uh, just, just just, speaking from a friend. Just experience. Just okay. say it. Yeah. Okay, Molly. Yes. Sorry. Um, <laughs> and we, we're going to wrap up here yes. soon. So we'll take We've been talking for a long time. Sorry. Is, yeah, we're, we're good. Is iAmazing only for our iPhones? I don't know. No, my guess, a, my guess is, is that it's is an it app in the app store on a Mac. Yeah. Is my on guess. On a Mac, so it could be an Android. To yes, the Mac Pro. could be. I don't know. Don't know. I, but these are questions right. that you can ask Google. So yes. just look up iNazing and find out mm -hmm. because I don't. But know. anything that starts not, with a lowercase i is typically is, an Apple I, product. So you probably, would think. Yes. You would think, but you never know. Right. So. Great Do you have question. a favorite external hard drive? You know what? I've used the the two probably most <laughs> prominent brands on the market are going to be Seagate. And Western Digital, um, I've used both, and they all fail. The one that failed me was a Seagate. Um, I don't know that that really makes a difference because in, I actually I have I have researched them. I've looked. I've read more reviews than you can imagine, and um, they all fail. So. Yeah, there you have it. It's, this one right I, here like, is what we started with that talk. in the very beginning, and we're just going to circle back to that one more time. Hard drives will fail. You just have to expect that they mm -hmm. will. External hard drives. Yep. So that's why it's important as a... And yet for a, me, that doesn't mean that I won't stop you, that I no. will stop using them because I do still use one because sure. in terms of a recovery, it's the fastest and easiest recovery. But they're, not, your but they're main, not fail proof. The, and, yep. and they're not your main storage. Right. Like you just, just know that. External hard drives, great. Use them yep. for however they make sense, but... They just should not be your primary backup. It should not be your only backup for sure. If you are only backing up to an external hard drive, you have got to be backed up somewhere else because it'll fail. So, and if you're only putting them on your computer, your computer will likely fail at some point too. Technology so. is so awesome. Yep. It's so awesome. I, I think that we all can relate to the fact that we we were the recipient of so many blessings because oh, of technology. So many. But man, we can't, you can't rely on it. No. You just can't. At the end of the day. Even though we do. We do. And day in and day out. But we, but we always have to know that it can fail us, no matter what the technology. So just do what you can to safeguard those photos. We know how much they mean to you. And, um, and do what works for you. Mm -hmm. Keep this conversation going. If you guys have more insights or experiences or products or mm -hmm. services or websites or social media yep. channels, 
that have helped you in this area. Or leave workflow your comments. that works for you. Workflow for yeah. sure. So like anyway. I said, we're just sharing what we do in hopes that it will help someone else. But what I'm doing is not necessarily what's going to be the best solution for you. There have been a lot of really great comments that people are good. sharing. Oh, good. Thank you, good. guys. That's awesome. We're Probably all coming from people other. who have been through this experience before, right? It's beautiful. I, I bet I, if you pulled... I made this face a lot. Like, oh, uh, I would bet if I would bet if you pulled ten of your friends, yeah. you would have at least two to three of your friends that have had a hard drive fail at some point. I would, guess if more. not more. I would guess more, if not more. Yeah. So don't let that happen to you. And if it's happened don't to be you, me. if it's happened to you guys, like, okay, today's a new day, and going forward, this is what you can do, mm -hmm. right? You have some ideas. We love you. Thank you for being here. Anything else? Um, Peace out. Back up, yo. Back up. Back up, yo. Bye.